in the math lab children will be are given this this kind of a bowl right and what they will do is they will have lots of such rubber bands right and for instance they will now put a rubber band and make this let's say a square okay this is a square right this is a square let us say this is a let's say this is a so this area is a square area is a square right now i'll take another and i'll make another small square right so this is b so this is area is b square right so this is b so this is b square so now i'll complete this whole thing so i'll make this and also this so now what happened is the area of this one is ab area of this is ab right so what i am trying to explain with this is a square plus b square plus 2 ab is a plus b whole square so a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2 ab so they are trying to understand what is the concept than just simply memorizing by heart root memorization is not possible but understanding the concepts is the concept. so that's how it is so lots of such things you know whatever you see that's the concept for instance this one the sum of n natural numbers right uh, natural numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 up to 10 Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we want to find out one plus two plus three plus four, which is this, right? So instead of counting one plus two is three, three plus three, instead of doing that, I know n, right? I'll take another one of the similar kind. I will add the two. I'll add both. So what is the area of this object now? It is ten into eleven, right? There is one more. So 10 plus 1. So 10 into 11 is the whole area, which is equal equal to the number of the sum. 1 plus 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 into 2, right? Because I have two of those. So what I am doing is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. N into n plus 1 divided by 2 is the sum of n natural numbers. Got it? So similarly. Sorry, sir. Count. <laughs> huh. Count. So, yes. Similarly, you can look at a higher number. Here it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they will do eleven, and then they will prove that yeah, n into n plus one divided by two works here as well. So that's the whole idea. So this is a lab kind of thing. Similarly, we have a boson. For instance, that one. That is similar to one what I did uh, with that one, right? A square. That is cube. So we have a cube, which is volume. Plus three a square b plus three ab square plus b cube is a plus b whole cube, right? So that's that's what happens in math lab. Math lab it's a lot of activities, it's a lot of uh, hands on. Right? So this is there's an activity with this where the children uh, is about the right angle, properties of a right angle. They go and uh, find out the height of this building. How do they do it? Is they go with the tape, right? And then measure the distance from the ground. to some distance let's say 50 meters and then stand at 50 meters and then look at the top of this building this building from there they see the top so once they see the top from this then they know what is the angle so don't they know this angle from which they are seeing right they know the bottom distance they can calculate the height with the properties of the right angle triangle right so that's pythagoras so these kind of activities are performed in the math Lots of such. There are more than thousand two hundred such activities which are built by our kids, and uh, you can see those in cupboards full of various kinds of activities on shapes, on geometry, on geometry questions. Oh, so I mean, for example, I mean, this is a worksheet that helps you to do. Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, worksheet.